second quarter 2015. Sun's out, guns out. Question number one. My name is Denver Houghton, and this guy here filming. I'm Aaron Taylor. We are engineers at Louisiana Tech. Uh, Dr. Schwambaum is our professor, and we are in Engineering 122, Section H03, and we have been pre presented with a problem to solve. So the problem we are facing is obtaining fresh water in third world countries. Fresh water is very valuable in third world countries, and it can be quite pricey to obtain. So our project here uses natural resources via solar power to take dirty water and make it into clean and fresh water. Question number two. So we start off with our Fresnel lens here, which basically magnifies the sun's light into a focal point to be able to transfer heat to boil the water in our container here. So the water will begin to evaporate and come up the copper tube and as it's going through, it condenses going down the tube into our bucket and out into a clean container. Now then, we also have some other sensors using our Arduino to be able to track the sun throughout the day. We have these gears here, which allows the motor to turn this on the pivot depending on where the sunlight is compared to the focal point. Question number three. So you guys are probably wondering how this thing works. So you see here we have these photoresistors on the top and bottom corners and what their purpose is is they sense the different amounts of light and say for example if that one is receiving less light than this photoresistor then that's going to adjust to get equal amounts of sunlight so it can boil the water in the pot. So you see here we have this DC motor and this controls the movement of this contraption. Now this thing moves according to the photoresistors up top and the photoresistors tell the computer board on on this contraption whether the Fresnel lens is receiving equal amounts of light and if not it's going to control its movement like so. Now you're probably wondering how that works. Now you see we have these relays right here. This relay controls whether the motor is on or off and that relay right there controls whether the motor spins clockwise or counterclockwise. Question number four. Which engineering is being applied to this project. Well first we can start with mechanical engineering because we have the structure being built and we also have implemented gears and other moving aspects so that we need mechanical understandings. Also we have cyber engineering because we have our code for our Arduino and circuits for motors and other electrical engineering aspects. And last, we have industrial engineering because we got to sell this mug.